In this video, we will look at using the addition method when we don't have the opposites that subtract out. Addition only works if one of the variables have opposite numbers or opposite coefficients. So that means we may have to get opposites, and to do so, we can multiply both sides of an equation to get the value we want. As we multiply, be sure our final result will have a positive and a negative in front of one of the variables, so they subtract out to 0. For example, if I had a problem like this one, we may notice that we can quickly multiply the 2 by something to get the opposite of 4. We can multiply the 2 by negative 2. That'll give us negative 4 in the first equation and positive 4 in the second equation. Of course, it's important to remember to multiply by the negative 2 on both sides. The first equation is now negative 4x plus 8y equals negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. The second equation was unchanged, 4x plus 5y equals negative 21. We can now add those together because the x's are opposites and will subtract out, leaving just 13y equals negative 13. By dividing both sides by 13, we find out that y is equal to negative 1. To find our x value, we simply plug that negative 1 in for one of the y's. Let's plug it into the first equation, because that's probably the easier equation to work with. 2x minus 4y, which we just found out was negative 1, equals negative 4. Multiplying gives us 2x plus 4 equals negative 4. Subtract 4 from both sides, and 2x equals negative 8. And finally, divide by 2 to get x is negative 4. Expressing our final answer as an xy coordinate pair, x is negative 4, y is negative 1, to make this system of equations true. Let's try another example where we have to multiply one of the equations to get opposites in front of the variable. In this equation, notice we can't quickly multiply negative 5 by something to get positive 7. However, on the y's, we can do just that. If we multiply the negative 3 by 4, we'll get the opposite of 12, or a negative 12. So let's multiply that equation by 4 on both sides. As we distribute, that'll give us negative 20x minus 12y equals negative 12. The other equation, unchanged, is negative 7x plus 12y equals positive 12. We are now ready to add these together, as the y's will subtract out to 0, leaving negative 27x equals 0. Get x alone by dividing by the negative 27, and we find out x is equal to 0. We can find y by plugging this back into one of the original equations. Let's plug it into the first equation. Negative 5x, or negative 5 times 0, minus 3y equals negative 3. Negative 5 times 0 is simply 0, so we have negative 3y equals negative 3. Dividing both sides by negative 3, and y is equal to 1. We now know what x and y are in this system. As an ordered pair, x comma y, 0 comma 1 is the solution to our system of equations. By multiplying one equation by something, we may be able to get the opposites we want, so they subtract out, leaving one variable.